I apologize that this video is coming out now when not two hours ago, but it's really early on the West Coast. The Montreal Canadiens have made some headlines by signing their very first player out of the 2021 NHL entry draft. It is not their first two picks. It's not amongst their first three picks. It's not even in the first round. This is Josh Waugh, a 150th overall selection in the 2021 NHL entry draft, a fifth round pick who is now the very first Canadian from this selection who is under contract. He has signed his three-year entry-level deal from 2022-2023 to 2024-2025. And right away, this kind of informs us of two things. Firstly, that the Montreal Canadiens will likely be giving Wa a shot at potentially making some sort of an impact in the short term, because three years is only three years, but also it shows us that good, honest work will be rewarded from Kent Hughes and this management team. Why is it that I say that? Well, Joshua, as we said, 150th overall. There were 149 other players taken in this entry draft before Joshua. And I'll tell you this right here. The majority of them have not signed their NHL contracts. So the fact that Wa is coming out here, not even a year removed from the NHL entry draft, and getting his contract as a fifth-round pick... Now, why exactly did he get this contract so early? Well, it's because he had 92 points in 50 games this season in the QMJHL. He is currently second in the league in points, and, I mean, the point production says it all right here. He is on pace for almost a full two-point-per-game season in the Q, which, if you take a look at the historical records, would be absolutely phenomenal. This right here is U19 players in the QMJHL from 2004-2005 up until now. And you can see that Josh Waugh is smack dab in some pretty good company right here. The only guys that had better point-per-game years as similar-aged players than Waugh include guys like Jakob Voracek, you got Garland, Huberto, Ehlers, Drouin, Brassard, Lafreniere, Sidney Crosby. You can see that Waugh has had better statistical production than Claude Giroux at the same age, Joe Valeno at the same age, you have Nathan McKinnon at a younger age, and then Beauvillier, Duclair, Samuel Poulin, Sean Couturier. These are all some pretty good NHL caliber players, or Poulin is not there yet, but I do think that he'll get there eventually. And the fact that Josh is in this conversation in the first place bodes very well for a fifth round caliber pick. We also had ourselves an article in Montreal Hockey Now published by Marco D'Amico yesterday talking about how his hockey sense is already at a pro level. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read this piece. There are a whole bunch of quotes in this article talking about his overall progression from this season, but there are some very interesting things here. He'll say his skating isn't the best, but it's pretty remarkable how much he has improved his skating, said Xavier Perron and his teammates' progress this summer in improving his speed. He can now use that speed to make little plays that go totally unnoticed and yet make the biggest difference on the ice. We had ourselves the GM, Julien, who said that I don't think his skating is necessarily the problem. He's already done such a great job. He is strong on his skates. It takes a pretty big hit to knock him off his skates. He just needs to improve those first two, three strides that he must improve to gain that separation from four checkers. Skating was always one of the bigger issues with Joshua. And it's kind of funny because this season we're starting to see that skating... Sure, while it might be not the biggest area of his expertise, he still has so many other attributes to his game when it comes to playmaking, shooting, positional awareness, etc. that really allow him to produce in the way that he has. It's kind of funny because this comparison has been showing up quite a bit over the past few days, but I have seen just a tad of that Tyler Toffoli sort of mold in Joshua, where the guy doesn't really have the best foot speed, but everything he does with the puck is so offensively potent that you see some pretty good offensive things coming out of it. And so, for Joshua, the plan is, because he is a CHL, or it's either NHL or CHL for next season, he will likely get nine games at the minimum, especially with the Montreal Canadiens not really being the most competitive team in the next few years, I guess you could say. So having a non-game sample for a guy like Josh Watt to come in here and do his thing definitely does not sound like a bad idea. 
You take a look at where exactly he could slot in the lineup. I mean, I mean, he is just a regular left-handed forward who plays all forward positions, so it could be pretty versatile seeing where he could line up in the Canadiens lineup. But let me know in the comments all your thoughts about the Montreal Canadiens signing Josh Waugh to an entry-level contract. Do you like this move? Did you think it would have come this soon? Because personally, for me, I did not think so. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this British Trolls 9 And bye.